You know, I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Oh, okay, I wasn't really expecting mail this early in the day, but let's see what Vance wants. Hey, some weirdo visited our island and started making comments about our rocks, so we have to relocate them. A dead body in the corner of your island. What? That's just a pile of rocks. Weird rocks, huh? Sure, Vance. I'll take care of your rocks for you. I'm sure they mean, like, pet rocks or, or something like that. Um, those are not rocks. But whatever, sure, I'll watch your rocks for you. Anyway, welcome back to Animal Crossing, where I will attempt to talk into the microphone while I play the game. I should probably come up with a plan first for today. I think what I want to do is... Let's do paths. What do you think of pathing? You want to do paths today? Yeah, you do? Okay, great. I was going to do it anyway. I don't really have a lot of experience with pathing. The last time I tried pathing was on Happy Home Paradise. And let me tell you, the houses don't line up on most of the plots. And it's actually kind of infuriating. I don't know why Animal Crossing really does that. Or they make it so that you can't actually line up the house. It's just one of the most heinous crimes. Whatever. On with the game. First, we got to go see Lolly, who is very happily dancing. This is just what everybody should feel like at 10, 13 a.m. Has anybody ever said that Lolly looks like a character from Charlie Brown. It's the eyes. It's definitely the eyes. Hey, Lolly, what's up? Have you ever been inside Anka's home? The way it's decorated seems so Anka. Oh, does it now? You know, I'm gonna go visit Anka's house because it has been far too long since I've actually been in there. Anka used to live up here. I don't know where, I don't know where Anka lives now. I'm a bad island representative. Oh, excuse me, weird looking rocks. Ah, yes, this one. Ah, yes, indeed. Very Anka looking in here. I mean, she's got all she basically really needs. A place to eat, a place to do business, and a place to practice beating the f*** out of anybody. So you're surprised to see a speed bag in my- Actually, I kind of am. Are, are you a fighter? It's true. I enjoy perspiring almost as much as I enjoy wearing sneakers with a ball gown. Now, McKinley, I need you to be honest with me. Uh-oh. I heard a rumor that when it comes to music, you're a huge fan of pop. Did Rosie tell you that? Rosie probably told you that. It's not true. Is that tr I- No. Rosie always says that. Oh dear. Really? I suppose I should know better than the- Yes, you should. Care to tell me what kind of music you like now? Folk music. What? Something else. Oh! You, you can actually put in what kind of music you like. I like folk music. Hmm. Folk. Did I hear yes, you did. You got it. So that's what everyone is into these days. Folk. Who knew? I think I'm so fond of it. Perhaps I should give it a... You should. I'm all about listening to the latest music trends, Mimi. Yeah, and you're all about listening to rumors, too. I got my eye on you, Anka. Enjoy your orange soda. I really got to talk to my villagers more. I feel like I never do that. Like, they're just objects to me in my perfect zen paradise that is my island. Anyway, paths. That's right. We were supposed to do paths. Oh, but I want to see what Timmy and Tommy have today. Oh my god. What is up, twins? Anything else you can do? Uh, just stand there and smile. What you do best. Even though you have no mouths. Wait, how are they smiling? They're smiling with their eyes, but how do they eat? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I just realized they don't have mouths. Why? Are they sewn shut? Anyway. Oh, ho, ho, ho. would you look at these two items? A typewriter and a nail art set. The two items that are most useless to Animal Crossing players. Because you need fingers to use either of them. And guess what I don't have? Anyway, I'll take both. Oh my god, you two. Do you need to be breathing down my shoulder every step I take in here? I get claustrophobic very easily, you two. That's it. I'm sick and tired of having your, your little stinky tanuki breath down my shoulder every time I try to shop. Today, I will be doing something about it. Did you hear that, boys? Today, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. Yeah! Yeah! We want to see the magic trick. Oh, I'm sure you do. It starts with you two following me right on up here. Very good. Very good. Now, I need you two to just, just don't move. Uh, don't move. Okay. And stand just like this. Ah, oh, perfect. And then the next part of the trick is... Ugh, right there. And ta-da! That's the trick. Dude, they're so happy to be part of this magic trick. Here. Would you two like a scorpion? He, he's a nice scorpion. He doesn't bite. Hard? 
Here you go. Why am I so bad at playing the game normally? I just never really gave myself the chance to do that, I don't think. What were we doing before this? Oh, paths. That's right. Well, we can start with the path from here to actually, I haven't been to the Able Sisters in a while. Let's go say hi. I'm here to see Brown Sonic. All right, oh my God, what is with the claustrophobia? I'm just having a conversation, man. You know, another thing I wish that they would do with the game is have a button like they have in Stardew Valley where you could press it and it'll just organize your storage. That way we could finally put to bed the debate about whether tools belong on the bottom row or the top row. I've been slandered more times than I care to remember for putting my tools on the bottom row. What was I doing? Oh yeah, paths. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Wait, we didn't talk to Brewster yet today. We got to go say hi to him. Oh man, look at all these pictures, dude. You ever stop to just take a look and see what they're even of? All right, so we got Blathers and Brewster together. Oh wow. Okay, so is this like is this like is like an old coffee shop? I do have a confession to make. I only started playing Animal Crossing about two months before New Horizons came out. I played New Leaf on a totally legitimate a uh, real 3ds and definitely not an emulator i found off google and there's some things about new leaf that i mean i really really adored much more than new horizons like the mini games and the soundtrack i don't know there's just some kind of charm that got lost between new leaf and new horizons but i think both games can be appreciated in their own unique ways i think it'd be cool if kk would come and perform at the roost maybe like knock out this wall and put a little stage back there what's up my favorite pigeon wondering when i'd see you today i just ground up some fresh beans what do you say to a cup oh thank you 176.32 degrees okay i'll do just that i'll scald my throat but it'll be worth it for your delicious coffee. In real life, I'll drink coffee, however. I'll drink it black, I'll drink it with some creamer, I'll drink it with really anything. I basically have no preference. If it's coffee, I'll drink it. I also like tea. Tea is quite good too. I have another one. Give me another one. I'm not feeling jittery enough. My, my fingers aren't shaking quite enough. I need another cup. Wait a minute, 176.48? Was that the same number as last time? Yowza! Be careful, too much coffee can mess with you. Yeah, but I like being messed with. I'm crazy like that. Yes, another cup, please. Man, we're not at a bar. I mean, I guess this is kind of a bar, but it's a coffee bar. You don't need to make sure I haven't had too much. 176, the number did change. Hey, I see what you're doing there. Why did you change it? What is going on? Why did you change the number? Is he not pouring the same exact coffee every single time? Too much coffee can mess with you. Okay, okay, I, all right, I heard the first time, and guess what, I want a fourth cup, no matter what you say. Pigeon milk? <laughs> you know? I mean, I did just mention that I like coffee any which way, so sure? Coming right up. Brewster, is there something you're not telling me? Um, where did you get that pigeon milk from? Oh, keep it under the counter, I see. Flavor's at its peak when it's- Oh, you changed it again. Oh my god, I am on to you, pigeon boy. Bottoms up. <laughs> Oh man, I guess pigeon milk is wonderful. It's so sweet and mild. It must be the magic of the pigeon milk that makes it so dreamy. I mean, I still want to know where it comes from. Maybe that's something I shouldn't ask. Some questions are better left unanswered, I think. What was I doing? Oh yeah, paths. We were going to do paths. Oh, but you know what I just noticed? There's a seashell over there. I got to clean up the beach. Yeah, let's clean up the beach. You know what I think would be a cool addition to this game? If they added a metal detector, like a real working metal detector that you could use as an item. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like you'd just be walking around on your island and you could have it out and it would start beeping and there'd be no indication on the ground of where to dig, like no X and no little spurting hole like they have on the beach. But you just have to rely on that thing for it to beep. Ooh, and maybe you could run out of batteries and you have to buy more batteries at Nook's Cranny. And that about covers it for the beach. Oh, another balloon, perfect. Dude, since when did these show up so often? I swear to goodness, I've been missing out. This is also what I get for not playing the game with the audio on, which I know I'm not the only one who does that, but at the same time, there's only so much patience I have to listen to the same soundtrack over and over and over again. All right, what was I doing? I feel like I was supposed to be doing something. What was it again? Pat? Oh, Captain! That's right, we haven't talked to Captain yet today. Hi, Captain! Oh, I would love a tour. A thousand miles. I am ready to go! 69! Nice! 
<gasps> is that a little picture from his daughter in his boat? Oh my gosh, I never noticed that before. One thing I definitely miss from New Leaf is the little island you could go to to trade items and play little games with Tortimer. I used to think that these islands that Captain would take you to or that you could travel to with your Nook Mile tickets at the airport kind of stunk because there wasn't really a whole lot special about them except for extra resources if you needed them. And later in the game, you know, you don't really need as much resources because a lot of the stuff you have to unlock through resources you already have later in the game. But sometimes there's fruits here and flowers that you don't have on your island naturally. So that's kind of cool. You can also take these bushes and stuff, but it's kind of nice to just play this normally and remember what all this was even here for to begin with. I also kind of like the idea that visiting one of these islands is a little adventure in and of its own, but we're also so busy on our own island, just talking with villagers and having our attention pulled every which way. It's kind of nice to be on an island with no villagers and nobody here. I know it might feel lonely to some degree, but oh yes, I've always wanted this. We're definitely making one of those when we get back. But yeah, anyway, it's kind of nice to just be alone, you know? I think that's true in real life as well. I used to always think I was an introvert, just naturally, but as I got older, and especially when I became a live streamer, I realized how much energy I actually get from socializing with others. So part of me thinks that I'm still an introvert because I do have a lot of my energy sapped from being around others, but also I get really energized from being around others too. I guess that makes me a both invert, ambivert, duovert, intrexrovert, something like that. I don't really know. Kind of depends on the day, to be honest. Um, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but my fishing pole broke. Could I have another one? Do people still close their eyes and wait for the sound when they fish? Man, I want to get up there, but I left my ladder at home because when you villager hunt or when you travel to find villagers with Nook Mile tickets from the airport, if you don't have a ladder in your inventory, the villagers will never spawn on elevated ground like this. And to make villager hunting go by more quickly, I just leave it out of my inventory at all times. But that has come back to haunt me now that I do not have one. Hi, I'm back again. Um, do you have a ladder? Please tell me you have a ladder. What? He doesn't have a ladder. Oh, no. No, I'm screwed. Maybe I can make one. I'm sure I can make one. Let's see. Ladder. Yes, there it is. <gasps> I need all those different types of wood. Are, are you Are you serious? Four of each kind? Oh, no. I mean, I'll try to get it. I do have this axe, but who knows? Uh, I'm already two for two with the items lost to durability today. Hopefully, my axe isn't next. And hopefully, there's no bees. I missed. Oh. Okay, already off to a good start. And look, free apples. Okay, all right. You know, uh, things are looking up. Maybe I will end up getting all the wood that I need. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, I hate it when I'm right. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not enough to make a ladder. I mean, we're getting close. Hello, Captain. I've returned once again. Um, You won't believe what I need. Man, I'm spending on these Nook Mile <laughs> tickets. Whatever's up there on the elevated level better be valuable and make up for all of this effort and miles and blood, sweat, and tears I'm putting into this. Come on. Yes. Give me my apple. What happens if I just keep hitting it? Screw this tree in particular. Oh, I am an idiot. Why am I so dumb? Well, this should be enough to make that ladder finally. You know, the worst part of this is I have a ladder at home. Like I don't, I really don't need two of them, but I did this to myself. All right. Time to see what wonderful fish is waiting for me up here that is definitely 100% going to be worth all of the effort I just put in to reach it. Wahoo! I hope it's something good. Oh, what the f- <laughs> There's no return in later. Good. <laughs> I need more coffee. You know, now that we're back, I feel like we're supposed to do something this episode. What was it again? Oh yeah, it was paths. Well, this episode's long enough. Guess we'll be doing paths next episode. See you next time. Bye.